中高生の基礎英語 in English. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. My name is Gary Scott Fine. Hi, I'm Hannah Grace. I'm so glad you've joined us today. Hello, I'm Nakamura Riku. Let's have a fun week. Yay! <laughs> All right, then. Let's start the lesson. Topic 22, Day 1. Let's warm up by chatting about this week's topic, which is. What is your best memory of this school year? What is your best memory of this school year? Hmm, we're close to the end of this school year now. Right. The school year in Japan is from April to March. Yeah. When we talk about this year, we usually mean from January to December. But when we talk about this school year, we mean from April to March. Right. So, if you're a student, this week you'll be thinking about memories of this school year. And if you're not a student, You can think about your memories from last year, January to December.、Mm. Riku, this was your final year as a high school student, right? Right. Oh,、mm. a lot of things can happen in one year.、Mm. Did a lot of good things happen in your life during this school year? Yes. Yes. Oh, great. <laughs> How about you, Hana?、Mm. Did a lot of good things happen to you last year? Yes, I got to experience a lot of wonderful things last year. Mmm, great. I have some good memories of last year, too.、Mm. Wow. This week, we'll talk about our best memories of the year.、Mm. And, Riku, on day five, you will answer the question What is your best memory of this school year? And, You'll tell us why.、Mm, I can't wait. Now, let's look at this week's dialogue. A few months ago, Mika and Rumi had a disagreement. Rumi didn't vote for Mika's idea for the video club,、mm. and Mika became upset. Yeah. Mika wanted to be friendly with Rumi again, so she asked Dad for advice on what to do. Right. She actually gave herself advice, <laughs>、yeah. but in the end, she seemed to know what to do. That's right. Now, Mika and Rumi are having a conversation. Will Mika and Rumi become best friends again? Let's listen. Hi, Rumi. Hi, Mika. Rumi, about that vote. I'm so sorry. No, no! I apologize, Mika. I should have talked with you sooner. It was my fault. I was too stubborn. Please forgive me. I forgive you. Of course I do. Oh, Rumi. The worst thing that happened to me this year was fighting with you. Same here. And the best thing that happened to me this year. Was getting my best friend back just now. Yeah. My favorite moment was getting my best friend back, too. You know, there is one good thing that came from our fight. What? I learned that I shouldn't argue with a friend over small things. It's not worth it. I'll never forget that. Mika? I'm so glad that we've made up. Yeah. Best day ever. Now I can sleep again. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> Mika? Yeah? Your glasses sure look great on you. Thanks. You know, they actually do. <laughs> 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 so, Riku, what were you able to catch? I think their relationship was restart 
Ah, uh huh. Yeah. Restart. Their relationship is becoming good again.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're becoming friends again. Yes. yes. Yeah. Riku, what was the best thing that happened to Mika this year?、Mm. It was getting her best friend back. <laughs> yes.、Mm, yes. And what was Lumi's favorite moment this year? Lumi's too.、Mm. Her favorite moment was getting her best friend back.、Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. So the best thing or best moment for both of them was that they became best friends again. Aww. <laughs> We'll find out more about Mika's and Rumi's thoughts later this week. New words, new phrases. Here are some words and phrases you might have heard for the first time. Today's first word is fault. Fault.、Mm, when something is your fault. It means you did something wrong. You caused a problem. In the dialogue, Mika tells Dumi that she's sorry. She says, "It was my fault." Right. She means, "I'm the reason for the problem.、Mm. I did something bad." Yes. She says she was too stubborn. Yeah. Because she was stubborn, her disagreement with Dumi. Continued a long time, but now Mika understands that she's been angry about something that isn't really important. Right, and that gives us our next new word: argue. Argue. In the dialogue, to argue means to speak with someone in an angry way because you disagree about something. Yes, Diku. Can you think of another word with the same meaning as argue? Argue similar to discuss and、ah, to yes. fight. Yes,、oh, yes, that's right. Those are both right. Yes, discuss is a little more positive,、mm. but to argue and to fight are similar.、Mm. Mm. Mika says. I learned that I shouldn't argue with a friend over small things.、Mm. She learned not to be angry or fight with a friend about things that are not important. Yeah, and now that Mika can understand and accept Rumi's way of thinking, she's ready to say that she's sorry. Which brings us to our last new expression today: to make up. To make up. Mm. In this week's dialogue, to make up means to become friendly again after you have argued with someone. Right. In the dialogue, Dumi says, "I'm so glad that we've made up."、Mm. She means, "I'm so glad that we're friends again." I'm glad too. <laughs> yes, I think so. Now let's listen to the dialogue once more. Pay attention to how these words and phrases are being used. Hi, Rumi. Hi, Mika. Rumi, about that vote. I'm so sorry. No, no. I apologize, Mika. I should have talked with you sooner. It was my fault. I was too stubborn. Please forgive me. I forgive you. Of course I do. Oh, Rumi, the worst thing that happened to me this year was fighting with you. Same here. And the best thing that happened to me this year was getting my best friend back just now. Yeah, my favorite moment was getting my best friend back too. You know. There is one good thing that came from our fight. What? I learned that I shouldn't argue with a friend over small things. It's not worth it. I'll never forget that. Mika, I'm so glad that we've made up. Yeah, best day ever.
Now I can sleep again. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> Mika? Yeah? Your glasses sure look great on you. Thanks. You know, they actually do. <laughs> <laughs> Conversation Strategy Today's conversation strategy is saying you are sorry. Riku, when you want to tell someone that you are sorry, what do you say? Hmm, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Hmm, yes, that's a nice way to do it. Yes. Let's look at two other useful expressions from this week's dialogue. Hmm. The first one is... I apologize. I apologize. Mm. To apologize means to say that you're sorry. Yes. I apologize means I'm sorry. What's the difference between them? Well, I apologize is more formal and it mainly expresses that you understand that you have done something wrong. On the other hand, I'm sorry is more casual, and it mainly expresses that you feel bad about what has happened. Right. You can use both I apologize and I'm sorry with anyone. Mm, yes. Friends, family, teachers, even people you don't know well. Mm -hmm. Here's an example. Hana, mm -hmm. I got your email, but I haven't answered yet. I apologize. Oh, it's no problem. Thanks. Okay, everybody, let's practice this. Ready? I apologize. Very good. Okay, Riku. Everyone, imagine that Gary Sensei is your teacher, and you were late for your class because the train stopped for 15 minutes. Use our new expression to say you're sorry. Ready? You're late. Mm, I apologize. The train stopped for 15 minutes. Oh, I see. Well, I'm glad that you're okay. Thank you. Mm, very nice. <laughs> Here's another good expression for when you want to say that you're sorry. Yes. You can say, Please forgive me. Please forgive me. To forgive someone means to stop being angry at someone for something that they did. In the dialogue, after Mika says, It was my fault, she adds, Please forgive me. She means, Please don't be angry with me anymore. Right. For example, Hana, I thought I could see your play this weekend, but I can't make it. Please forgive me. Oh, that's okay. I understand. Thanks. Okay, everybody. Let's practice this, too. Ready? Please forgive me. Mm, very good. Okay, Riku, it's your turn. Tell Hana that you're sorry. Ready? Yes, ready. I'm sorry, Hana. I forgot your book at home. Please forgive me. Oh, that's okay. I forgive you. You sounded so sorry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Good feeling. Yes. <laughs> nice job. Okay, everyone. That's it for today. Riku, was there a new word or phrase that you would like to try using? Please forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you won't have to use it too many times. Yes. <laughs> but but it is good. useful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very useful. Tomorrow, we'll find out more about Mika's thoughts. So, until then, bye! bye.